everyone. I'm Lara from the Taiku. Uh, and I know that the name of my speech is kind of weird, so I'm going to explain that right now to you. Um, I started uh, talking with two friends, actually. Uh, first of all, with my friend Victor. Uh, we were uh, talking about how data is going to eat the world, and everybody is like, da 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 da, I'm so scared. And then he was like, you know, in my mother tongue, Wolof, data means pussy. So, <laughs> so I don't know if data is going to eat the world. <laughs> but so anytime I say data in that talk, you know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> then. I was talking to my friend Norma, she's there on the left, she's hot, right? So we are thinking about, do you think that this monogamy thing in couples is actually like normal and we should do that and it's natural? And you know what? We went on internet, it's not natural, guys. It's not natural at all. All the species, they want to create the best offspring, so they need to multiply the relationship with animals, with others to have the best of spring, so it's not natural. But we live in society, we have some rules, we have to follow it if we don't want to have problems. So, but you don't necessarily have to do that in your job. Meaning, you know what, uh, you know what coding is, right? You're like aficionado to one, uh, sorry, I'm used to speak in Spanish, so I'm like, huh, sometimes it hurts. Uh, you're like, I want to do Python, and R is the best, and whatever. But then maybe you don't have to use like only one language to do your data science project. Why not? Efficiency alert. Because sometimes you need a piece of code that only exists in Python, and you are working in R. What are you going to do? You're going to translate everything? Come on. You are not going to do that, right? So maybe you have a friend in your company that works with Python, you work with R, you work all together and it's all beautiful. So you don't have to be a dictator in a data science project. You don't have to do that. You can be a polyglot. This is what the talk is about. So what I did is that I went to see all my friends, data scientists, and I was like, what language do you use to do what? Why is it good? Why not? Etc. In Spanish, it's more funny, because with R, you have paquetes. In paquetes, <laughs> monogamy talks. Sorry, I had to say it. So, anyways, in R, you have nice packages. I heard that in, in English, it actually works. You can say packages, too, so it's cool. Then, in Python, it's kind of the MacGyver tool. You can do whatever you want. Uh, you can act uh, with the web. It really works well, so it's cool, too, Python. Good language. SQL. So you know data scientist, you have to prepare your data. In a data science project, it's like when you go to Ibiza. Ibiza, you know? All your Facebook pictures, 20% of it is like nice sunset and everything. But 80% of your time, you are doing dirty things, right? Same with data science project. 80% of your time doing shit, preparing the data. SQL. SQL is your friend. Then, Julia, MATLAB, when you started uh, at school, you know them, the one who continue to work in labor, uh, laboratories, laboratories, rat labs, they know that one. And then Scala is my favorite, the hipster one. You know what is cool about Scala? Someone speaks Scala here? One, two, three, four, five. You know what is cool about Scala? When in your company you're the only one who speaks Scala, no one can, uh, can take your job. You're the only one. So that's cool. That's a cool one. Ikea. I know my slides are like, hey, what is it doing here? So the point is like, when you are building a shelf with Ikea, a sh an Ikea shelf, you won't do it with one screwdriver. Even if they tell you it's possible, you know it's not possible. Is the same in a data science project. So you're going to face a problem. The problem is that which language am I going to choose? Which technology? Half of them are free, but it's then how do I combine that? Who, how do I make it all work together? Un foyon. No podía. Lo siento. They told me not to speak in Spanish, but I cannot help myself. And so I'm just going to tell you we won, we, not me, some compañeros on Kaggle competition, um, using various languages, being in various places all around the world. 
So what is the key to make it work? We're going to go back to our monogamy program. Well, you know what is the problem with being monogamous? Or polygamous, actually. You have to be super organized. You have to have your ag agenda like, if you're not organized, fail. This is the problem when you want to cheat on your partner. It's the same in a data science project, organization, collaboration. So, actually, it does take, how do many minutes, how much minutes do I have? One, two, three? Okay, I can chill, it's like I have two more slides. So, <laughs> I, I'm not here, you said that the CEOs cannot come to do publicity, but I'm not the CEO, I can do publicity? No, I'm joking, of course. Anyways, in that haiku, we think it's possible to all work together. It's possible even to work with IT to put your projects in production, which can be like kind of tricky, and then they have to recode it, everything in C, C++, it's kind of, or Java, whatever. So we think you don't have to do all that shit. You can try a free version. You can come to see me after the talk. Um, Oh yeah, I like that slide. Isn't that beautiful? So the last thing is that I could have talked about the Babel Tower. It makes more sense, languages, Babel Tower, but it's not that fun. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>